A local man drowned in Daytona Beach Thursday morning. He was swimming near the band shell when he became unresponsive. He was rescued, rushed to the hospital, but did not survive. Rip currents will be a threat all weekend. The seas are pretty rough right now. Not necessarily huge, maybe two to four feet, but rough and with currents that can pull swimmers out before they even know they're in trouble. It won't pull you underwater, but it does pull you into deeper water. If you uh, if you get off your feet and you're caught in that rib current, it's going to pull you into deeper water and it's going to be extremely hard to try to get back into shore. From a lifeguard tower perch, rescuers can actually see the rip currents and warn swimmers away, which is why officials say it's so important to swim in front of one. There are fewer towers open after after Labor Day as lifeguards go back to school, but on weekends there are at least a dozen or more and with fewer people on the beach, they are easier to find. In addition, beach safety officers are trained. All of our staff are lifeguards. Everybody that's on the beach lifeguards, those uh, red trucks you see driving up and down the beach, those are all lifeguards as well. The weekend message though is not to overestimate swimming ability. The rip current warnings are already up. One quick note, there are expected midday high tides this week, and that means possible beach ramp closures. Beach safety advises folks to get here early to park on the beach. In Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2.